I had developed WatchStandPray.com. It was a brand idea, something that I come up with a million a minute. There's this theme in the Bible, watch and pray. I'm a Christian and I take Jesus with me everywhere I go, but I don't try to Jesusify things. And I wanted to stand. Well, I love the International House of Prayer in Kansas City and their logo is a flame on an altar. I took that logo long ago and I rounded the corners to make it organic, not a building structure. Rounded corners means maybe something more living, alive. I stood it up to look like a person and this flame coming off of his head is, is it, it's his worship going up. He's standing, using his hands and feet, walking around. And the Bible says our body's the temple. We don't need buildings to contain our religion. We're supposed to go out into the world and shine. And that's what I wanted. And that's what WatchStandPray.com was about. So I looked for it and it was available on all the social media and I just got the namespace Watch Stand Pray, similar to Watch and Pray, kind of a little play on words there. In fact, I even had a conversation with John O'Hall over the phone about this logo and what I had and he seemed kind of entertained by it. John O'Hall at the International House of Prayer in Kansas City, he was chief of operations at the time. And he and I are on friendly terms. Actually, it's interesting, Jono's been on my YouTube channel from a video that I got, but that's another story. This was the idea of a praying person, but not jesus and not being geeky. And even if you're not Christian or religious, this book should be fascinating for everyone. Everyone. Now, I had this watch, stand, pray idea, but I wasn't sure what to do with it. At the same time, I was thinking about writing a devotional type of a thing, like a daily reading. But there are a lot of those. I mean, you know how many daily readings there are? The Daily Drucker, I've got a copy of that from Peter Drucker. That's that's kind of nice and useful. And the other good read that I know about is Oswald Chambers, My Utmost for His Highest. That's the gold standard in Christian devotionals anyway. Fascinating story. And I've written about that at watchstandpray.com. You can, you can learn more. There's lots to learn about him. He's a fascinating person, Oswald Chambers. But I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with the devotional. Well, I was over here in Asia. It was a Chinese New Year and I was having lunch with a friend and he was explaining to me, Jesse, I want more morals in my life. Why, why don't I have more morals? I'm not Christian, but this guy, Jordan Peterson, has me excited about morals. My life would be so much better with morals, and I just, I want to know about them. And I'm like, well, maybe I should write a devotional for this guy, because I think there are a lot of people like him. And that was when it snapped. What I wanted to help my friend with was the same thing that I wanted to do with WatchStandPray.com. I didn't want to call it a devotional, I, you know, it's not devotional like. These are motivational type reads, highly quotable by the way, of course, I think everything I write can be very easily quoted, but I've had other people already in some of the early reviews say, this is very great for quoting. You can really get snippets and quote, and there's a license with the book, like you can quote it, like that's fine, like you can quote it. You have to look at the license, but like you can grab snippets and quote it and that's great. That's a wonderful thing. Well. I put everything together and I was thinking about my devotional. Do I do 300 or 400 words? And then all of a sudden I said, let's just not call it devotional. Let's not, let's just make everything 365. Which is 365 will be the theme and 365 speaks for itself. And the book speaks all the rest. Watch, stand, pray. 365.